Welcome to Radio Storytime on CPL Radio. Hi, I'm Mrs. K. And I'm Miss Heidi. Spring has arrived, and I couldn't be more excited. The spring season can be a symbolic time for new beginnings. Trees are budding with new leaves, flowers are opening, new blooms, and new life is emerging. Just like nature, the library is bursting with growth and new life. We have a bunch of new arrivals that we can't wait for you to check out. Today on Radio Storytime, we want to share a couple of our favorite new arrivals, as well as recommend some of the new titles we've added to our collection. Miss Heidi, do you have any new titles you want to recommend to our listeners? Do I ever. We have received so many wonderful books. My first recommendation is a silly bedtime story that will definitely make you giggle. Sheep 101 by Richard T. Morris. The infamous bedtime ritual of counting sheep takes on a new twist that will have everyone in the room laughing. I've read that one, too. It's great. I also enjoyed Zonia's Rainforest by Yana martinez Neal. Zonia is a young girl who lives with other indigenous people in the Peruvian rainforest. She spends her time talking to the animals that live in the forest. The illustrations are just as captivating as the story. That one is definitely a must-see and a must-read. Another great book we received is Bodies Are Cool by Tyler Fetter. This book is fantastically inclusive. It celebrates every kind of body and supports body positivity. Another wonderfully illustrated book that captures the beauty in our differences. Ryan T. Higgins, author of our favorite Bruce the Bear books, has a new picture book called Norman Didn't Do It. Yes, he did. The story follows Norman, the porcupine, as he overcomes his jealousy by owning up to his mistakes and trying to fix as best as he can the problem. This story will melt your heart and have you laughing at the same time. Wow, we have added some great books to our children's collection that we can't wait for you to check out. In the meantime, sit back and relax while Mrs. K shares one of our new great arrival picture books. The Leaf Thief by Alice Hemings. What a wonderful time of year. I'm snug in my nest with a belly full of hazelnuts and the sun shining through my leafy canopy. Such lovely colors. Red, orange, gold, red, gold, orange, red, gold. Wait a minute. One of my leaves is missing. Where is it? It's not here. It's not under here. Bird! What is the matter? He's reading Bowling for Beginners. Someone stole my leaf, said the squirrel. Your leaf? Yes, one of my leaves is missing. My leaf looked a lot like that one, the one Mouse has. That is not your leaf, squirrel. But how can you be sure, Mouse? Mouse, did you steal my leaf? No, this is my boat. Sea squirrel, it's perfectly normal to lose a leaf or two at a time of the uh, time of the year like this. Okay, thanks, bird. See you tomorrow. The next morning. Oh, no, this is bad, bird. What's the matter this time? More leaves have been stolen. Excuse me, woodpecker. Are you those my leaves? Are, the, are those the leaves, my leaves? No, they are my leaves, squirrel. I spent ages collecting them. No one is taking your leaf squirrel. This happened last year, remember? Hmm, maybe. Why don't you go back to the nest and try to relax? Okay, thanks, bird. Try to relax. Breathe in, breathe out. Just relax. Letters the following morning. This is a disaster. Bird, bird, where are you, bird? I'm here, squirrel. Wait a minute. Are you the leaf thief? No, squirrel, I'm not the leaf thief. I will show you the leaf thief. Where are they? Because I've got a few things I'd like to say to them. Look around you. The leaf thief is everywhere. It shakes the trees. It rustles the leaves. It even takes your hat. Do you see the leaf thief, squirrel? The only leaf thief is the wind. This happens every year in the autumn. Every year, the leaves change colors and the wind blows them away. They'll grow back again in the spring. 
Now I'm going home. Please don't disturb me again. It was just the wind. The leaves change colors and the wind blows them away. Of course. No leaf thief at all. Silly me. I'm going to sleep well tonight. The next morning. Bird, someone has stolen the grass. (sighs) Big sigh, says the bird. So cute. It makes you wonder what the squirrels in your own backyard are thinking as they jump from tree to tree. Let's take a small break and hear from our sponsor. This is Miss Heidi from the Youth Services Department at CPL to tell you about what's happening in the library. If you missed him this month, Mr. Dan and his puppet friends will be returning May 3rd to retell the story of the Shoemaker and the Elves. This is a drop-in program for children in pre-K and kindergarten. Check our online event calendar for more details. Mrs. K, what else do we have going on? Well, get all the family together and join us for a butterfly release party on Friday, May 13th. Our butterflies have been growing in their cocoons for weeks. Come in, see them before they're released into the spring air. Now back to our program. Listen by Gabby Snyder, read by Miss Heidi. When you step out into the big, wild world, sometimes all you hear is woof, beep, er, er, vroom, noise. But what if you could stop, close your eyes, and listen? Can you hear each sound? Woof, beep. Er, er, vroom. Do you hear a dog yip yip yapping from the window to yard to passing car or a crow cawing from wire to wire? Listen. Through an open window, a tea kettle whistles. Listen. Can you hear the slap, slap, slap of shoes against pavement? Listen. Kids jump rope. Thump, thump, thump. Can you hear, hello, called across the playground? Listen. Listen to the crunch of the gravel and the scrape of chalk. Can you hear new words? Listen to each sound. Some pop like quick and snappy, while others stretch like long and leisurely. Listen. Hear words of joy and words that sting. Do you hear what your friend says? Listen. Can you hear what she's feeling too? A sob, a sigh, or even silence. Listen. Listen past the noise. What can you hear? Tippy tap tap. Rain falling on your umbrella? Brush, rush, hush. Wind through trees? Listen. Can you hear the quiet? Listen past the quiet. What can you hear? Rumble of the belly? Whoosh of breath? Can you hear the voice inside you? Listen to nighttime hush and whispers. Good night. Good night. Good night. When all you hear in this big wild world is noise, stop, close your eyes, and listen to everything waiting to be heard. Beautiful. Join us next month when we will be sharing stories about butterflies. I'm Mrs. K. And I'm Miss Heidi. See See you next time. time.